Oh, the magnitude of feeling in this room just reminds me, being here, of the distance I've come. Uh, standing in front of you here now alone, but accompanied by some who are in this room now and some who are not, some whose names I know to call others, whose names I cannot. In this room, the Grove Atlantic team, led by the indomitable, unstoppable Morgan Intrican. Morgan and his incredible team who believed from the first. Jin Ah, who shepherded me safely through. Suzanne Gluck, my agent. Michael Takens, Judy Stone, Marie Brown. In this room tonight, my mother, Ivory May, poet in her own right. How, as a child, I watched her every move, seeing her eyes fall upon every word anywhere, encountered in the grocery store, on a bus, pamphlets, the package labels, my high school textbooks. She was always wolfing down words, insatiable, which is how I learned the ways in which words were a kind of sustenance, could be a beautiful relief or a greatest assault, how I learned that words Words were the best map. Make me know, my mother was always saying, in between raising 12 humans. I am in this room, semicolon, and so is my mother. In this room, my big sister Lynette, who left the Yellow House for fashion school in New York City when she was only 19, which then felt like a lurching mission to planet unknown. In this room tonight, my love, Dee Reese, a fellow artist, the most inspired accompaniment of my life. And the chorus, my siblings not here, but whose voices exist in mine, Carl, Michael, Karen, Daryl, Byron, Troy, Eddie, Deborah, Valeria, thank you for telling me the stories in the first place and for trusting me to make something of them, for allowing me to call your names because, because it is no small thing to recover the names. These, there are other names of my family who told me the history of myself, some of whom died before this book was finished and in the world. These absent presences, my auntie Elaine, my mother's only sister, my uncle Joe in January, of this year, and in the swiftest blow, my oldest brother, Simon Jr., who died the day after this book appeared in the world. And yet, and somehow and still, in the interstices of time, I have listened a million times to his hesitant voice on the recordings that we made so that I might make this book. His saying, you grew up on Wilson Avenue in the East, baby. You can handle anything. And on the recording, he is also telling me that sometimes I talk too much, which is what I am doing right now. But I just want to say, somehow, and still, even with and through it all, the work stands. Nothing can stand in for it, I have learned, because the work is the work is the work. And this honor will buoy me as I make the next one. Thank you. Thank you.